This is the new BMW R1300 GS and this is how the best-selling motorcycle in the world rides. One push of a button is all it takes for the windshield to move upwards. While driving. Quite practical and typical BMW GS. For decades, the BMW GS has been the best-selling motorcycle over 500 cubic centimeters displacement in many countries around the world. The large touring enduro enjoys a similar cult status among motorcycle fans as a Ford Mustang or the Porsche 911 does among automotive enthusiasts. Only a few manufacturers succeed in this. The newer 1300 GS is intended to further consolidate the myth of the successful touring enduro. Spoiler, she's got what it takes. At its heart is a new boxer engine with an enlarged displacement and a new engine housing with semi-dry sump lubrication. This is intended to minimize the formation of foam in the oil at high speeds and ensure better lubrication. Instead of primary air cooling of the cylinders, BMW is relying on liquid cooling for the new engine. As a result, performance can be increased while complying with current emission laws. The newly developed 1.3-liter two-cylinder boxer engine delivers 107 kilowatts per 145 horsepower at 7,750 rpm and 149 newton meters of torque at 6,500 rpm. This makes it the most powerful boxer engine of all time. From 0 to 100 kilometers per hour it takes around 3.4 seconds, and the top speed is 225 kilometers per hour, thanks to the gearbox now located under the engine, the drive is slimmer, shorter, and lighter. The main frame made of sheet metal shells also minimizes weight. Climb onto the well-padded seat. The remote control key remains in the jacket pocket, the button on the right handle brings the GS to life, and the 6.5-inch TFT display flashes through briefly. Press the start button, and the boxer shakes as ever, but after a few seconds falls into a pleasant purr. The mode button is used to select the road driving mode. You can also choose between Rain, Eco, Enduro, and Enduro Plus. You sit upright and comfortably behind the handlebars, quickly shifting through the six gears. The last gear engages at 50 km per hour and around 2000 RPM. This makes it possible to cruise in a relaxed manner without sacrificing a full draft, from 2500 rpm, there are just under 120 newton meters. This allows the GS to roll smoothly over country roads and effortlessly swallow kilometers. But the GS can also do things differently. Switch to Dynamic or Dynamic Pro and change the display to Sport and the GS becomes a sportsman. If you're up for it, you can teach sports motorcycles to fear with the touring enduro on winding country roads. The GS then hung greedily on the throttle, willingly revved up to 9000 RPM, tickling the inner thigh slightly, while the handlebars did not transmit any vibrations to the hands. Once in the river, the ride on the GS resembles a flowing ski descent. It's astonishing how light-footed a bike weighing around 250 kilograms can be. Only the hard drag torque of the engine takes some getting used to on the first few kilometers, the abrupt braking is irritating at first. BMW has put a lot of brain power into the chassis. The Evo telelever is used on the front fork and the new Evo paralever rear will guide on the rear. They ensure precise steering and driving stability. A new generation of the electronically controlled DSA chassis with two springs per shock absorber automatically varies damping and spring preload within a few milliseconds depending on the selected road or dynamic driving mode. The GS irons out bumps from bad roads effortlessly, never sags and looks comfortable instead of sporty and firm. In inclined positions, it follows the targeted line almost automatically and does not need to be constantly corrected. On the motorway, the GS stubbornly tracks its path without nervously following grooves. Even when braking hard from high speeds, the fork doesn't dip excessively. The twin disc brakes with two new, radially mounted four-piston fixed calipers at the front and the single disc brake with two-piston floating caliper at the rear help with this. Even in light terrain, the GS Adventure gets through gravel and sand surprisingly well, if the rider is not afraid of the weight. Just let it go, and the GS will find its way. Off-road riders can choose a sporty, firmer setup including 20mm of travel. BMW is also upping the ante when it comes to assistance systems. Optional features include adaptive cruise control with brake intervention and blind spot assist with integrated rear radar. The blind spot symbol will then appear in the respective exterior mirror. 
The turn signals are now integrated into the grip switches, and the fully integrated ABS Pro is just as much a part of the standard as Hill Start Assist, Dynamic Traction Control and Dynamic Brake Assist. Practical for smaller riders, with the height adjustable adaptive suspension, the GS goes up within 1.5 seconds and down again within 3 seconds at less than 50 km per hour. Criticism? Not in terms of the engine, chassis, ergonomics and the modified design with the narrow rear, but in the menu navigation. GS pilots should take a close look at the adjustment options before they set off. Although the menus and submenus can be easily adjusted via the switches and turn push rocker on the left handle, they distract from traffic of blind operation is not possible except for the turn signals, horn and headlight flasher. At market launch, BMW is offering the R1300 GS, option 719 Tramontana, triple black and GS Trophy variants. They differ mainly in terms of colors and equipment. In addition to the assistance mentioned above, heated grips and keyless ignition are also standard equipment. The list of options at BMW is traditionally long, in addition to the four variants, BMW offers the technology packages innovation, dynamic, touring and comfort, for the GS Adventure the Enduro Package Pro, plus smartphone connectivity, various handlebars, four driver's seats and three pillion seats in three heights. The handlebars, seat and pillion seat can be heated, and an integrated lamp in the top case helps you find small items in the dark. A compartment on the tank holds and charges a smartphone, a central locking system opens and closes all suitcases. The bright LED headlights are available with 21 LEDs or 47 LEDs including cornering lights. This is reflected in the prices. It's never been cheap to own a GS, the BMW remains true to itself. While the predecessor model, the R1250 GS, costs at least €18,300 so far, the new model costs at least €19,100, the GS Trophy costs at least €19,930, the Triple Black at least €19,905 and the Option 719 at least €21,840. GS fans don't seem to be shocked by this. Shortly after the online configurator was opened, more than 400,000 interested parties worldwide had already put together their individual GS.